poured out the change of money and overthrew the table and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make no my father's house and house of merchandise. Don't make my father's house a house of merchandise. Salaam, mighty king, all praises got to you again. Uh, said, yeah, so, I so he flipped it over and he said, don't like make that. my father's house a what? Merchandise. Don't be selling merchandise in here, right? Y'all doing wrong. But then when he, my point of reading is that he didn't do it softly. He came down angry and did it. You see what I'm saying? Because I want y'all to understand that's how our Lord is. Right. Otherwise, he wouldn't be still being ruling shit. Right. How in the heck is we God's chosen people and we're on the bottom of society? We're in a punishment. Amen. Read the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 10. You see that? We are in a punishment. Let me show y'all that we're in a punishment. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 10. Bring it out. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Go ahead. To walk in his law. To walk in his what? To walk in, in his, his law. law. We ain't walking in his laws back then. A lot of our people not walking in them today because they do not know. Now y'all know. So now today y'all will be held accountable. Amen. Go ahead and read. Which he said before us by service the prophets. Yeah, all Israel has transgressed thy law. All Israel has broken God's law. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Because we didn't listen. Now the Lord said, I'm pouring curses on all 12 tribes. I told y'all to do keep my father's law, statutes, and commandments. Y'all don't want to listen, so I'm going to put curses on y'all. Y'all understand that? Now let's read a curse and let's see if it's true. Man, matter of fact, this curse on the front. Let's teach us that it happened to all nations too. Let's see what curses fit. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32, Hebrew. Now let's see. This is gonna determine who's the children of Israel. That the children of Israel got curses on them. This is a curse, so go ahead and read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now this is history. Our sons and daughters shall be given it to another people. Right. This meaning, when our woman had children, the slave master would take that child and sell it to Master Jennings hey, down the Jenny. street. Go ahead. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing all the day long. Their eyes will look and fail with longing for them all the day long because they don't know how their daughter or their son is doing. I, I, I had them, you know what I'm saying, I raised them to about one, and master took them, I don't know how they doing. If they were a good slave master, if they were a bad slave master, you see what I'm saying? So their eyes fell with longing for them all the day long. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There will be no might in our hand to get our child back. See that? Now, let me ask y'all. Did the Arabs go through that? The Arabs, babies were sold to another plantation? He say yes, she say no. We, we stop talking history. What about the Chinese? Chinese, no. The Arabs, no. The East Indian with the dot in the middle of the head, no. It was on the 12 tribes. That's right. That was, they gave us movies, slave movies. Right? What is the, um, five years of slaves? What about the 12 years of slaves? 12 years of slaves. slaves. Did y'all watch any of those? I'm a star. I've seen little parts of the movies, like, you turned it off the side? No, no, it wasn't. I think it was my parents that were watching it and whatnot, and I was just like, you know, coming in and out. Okay. Yeah. See? See, a lot of times we don't like to watch these movies. They keep making them, if you notice. They keep making them. They, they want to throw it in our face and show that they're above us. But they know we're above them. Right. But we're getting punished. That's okay. For instance, let's say I was doing wrong. My parents punished me. Put me on punishment. Go in your room. You can't come outside and play with your friends. Now I can't do nothing, right? That's how we are. We are in punishment. And the other nations are over us, having a ball with us. But we're about to get off of punishment. That's right. Because our Lord is going to come and take us off of punishment. When we get off of punishment, we get all of our things back. That's right. All of our toys when you get off punishment. You go outside, all your freedom. That's why we read in the book of Isaiah that these other nations are going to be our possessions. We're going to be able to do whatever we want to. Huh. So while they laughing at us and having a good time, they don't know that they about to get it. We That's about to get right. our punishment. They about uh, to get it to uh, our hands uh, the way we are in their hands. That's right. I understand that. Now our God don't play to the point where we've been in this captivity for a long time. It's to the point where we got a little bit of freedom today. And we don't think that we are in captivity. Right. We don't think that we're in slavery. 
Yeah, you're not the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh, but let's see if God uh, say we're in punishment or not. If we're in captivity or not. Ruth, chapter 3, and verse 8. Yeah. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment. Was we subject to payments? Yes. We can't afford the, the finest things in life. Right? We spend our money wisely. We gotta be wise with it will be, you know what I'm saying? Because our money go quick. Uh, we, we don't own that wall, not not one Israelite. <laughs> not one own that one building downtown Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. Right? Right. They got it all. That's right. You see that? Hey, give me that in the book of Job 9 24. Let's find out why. Because the Arabs, they got it all. Chinese, they got they got their own countries that they took from us. Let's find out why. Because remember, if the Lord put curses on us. Go ahead. So when he put curses on us, it's happened. Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Get up. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What did God say? The, the earth is given into the, the hand, hand of, of the wicked. wicked. Because we was ruling. So when, okay, the Lord said, I'm going to put curses on y'all. I'm going to make this is a whole transformation now. I'm going to set the other nations up so that the earth shall be given. That's why he said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked because right, it wasn't right. theirs at first. He gave it to them because we right. got rebellious. Right. We had our God hearing us. He gave us everything. We was ruling. We was we got big headed, high minded. I don't need to listen to God no more. I got all I want. I got whatever I want. All right. my, I got all my cattle. I can go wherever I want. And he said, okay, so y'all gonna go against me? We're going against our father? That's like you're going against your parents. You're going against your parents, you're gonna punch get punished. You see what I'm saying? So we went against our father. And he punishing us huh. with a, a sterile behind whooping. Uh. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, a lot of our people don't know that we are in a punishment today. Huh. That's the thing. You see that? Y'all know this day. All right? YouTube channel on. Any questions? Can I have one? Okay, all praises. What's your question? Oh, no, no, no. Can I have oh, oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's so, so like, I will go get you one, sis. Um, so this is it's a YouTube channel highlighted in orange. Okay, you go on WFI. Pittsburgh. Okay, we're the watchmen unto the house of Israel. All right, y'all Israelites. What, what tribe? All right, thank you. What tribe? Y'all from Israelites. From what tribe? Judah. 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 That's That's right. Please don't forget it. That's your royal name that God gave us. Oh. That's your tribe. Oh. All right. Well, you can stop thinking it either, sis. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Welcome thank home. You. All right. So, 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 so Out here for the royal people, man. Oh. Our people don't know that we're royalty, man. But when we take the time out to listen, and hey, we're going to learn some things, man. That's right. Right? And it makes us conduct ourselves in a whole different manner, man. Hey, knowledge is everything. Right. That's knowledge right. is wisdom. Hey, give me another book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 2. 4, verse 7. Proverbs 4, and verse 7. Book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse 7. Bring it up. Wisdom is the principal thing. And what the God say? Wisdom, wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Go ahead. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. When you get God's wisdom, you get the understanding of why the world the way it is. We wasn't never taught the Bible, right? Uh -uh. We don't know what's going on. Uh -uh. If the Lord say, watch and pray, we don't understand that America about to get destroyed. That's right. We don't know these things. Why? Because a lot of the pastors not teaching it. The only how you're going to hear these words is by here, out here on the highways and hedges, right? When the Lord's true servants and prophets is teaching it. They're going to teach all things. They're going to teach the whole Bible as it's written. Right. And they're not going to add to the word. They're not going to take away from the word. They're going to read the word as it is and find out that, look, the word cuts like a two-edged sword. Right. It's not all love. It's not all gravy up here, man. Right. Right? Hey, give me that in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Hebrews. I think that's what I want. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. The whole shot of my shot, the same yesterday and today. And forever. The Lord is the same. He don't change. If the Lord said he had a chosen people, he got a chosen people now, all the way back then to now. He don't change. Why is it now that when you read the book of Romans chapter 13, right? 9, 13, Jacob have a love, but Esau have a hate. And now all of a sudden, he love everybody. That means he will change. People just don't want to swallow that pill. Give me that in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7, Hebrew. Wisdom of Solomon, 18, and verse 7. 
Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Bring it out. Some of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemies. See, that's a tough pill for our people to swallow. Just, just, just. That's a tough pill for our people to swallow. We must accept, right, the saving of the righteous and the destruction of oh our God. enemies. We have to. Otherwise, hey, you're going to get left behind, right? Oh. We're just talking about that. They got movies called Left Behind. A lot of our people going to get left behind because they will not endure sound doctrine. They will not accept the truth. The truth shall make our people free, but we don't want it. Meaning, we don't want to be free, right? Our people truly don't want to be free. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3, Hebrew, right? There's some things we got to learn. Wisdom is the principal thing. You Isaiah. Get, you get wisdom, you get understanding. Go ahead. Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people do not consider. To the children of Israel, you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, you don't know who you are. Neither do you even consider. You don't consider that you the righteous. You don't consider that you a chosen people. You don't even consider how royalty you are. The other nations say you ain't nothing, so you walk around like nothing. You sag your pants. You smoke cigarettes, black your mouth, and weed all day. You like to get drunk, right? You fill up the bars, right? You fill up the whorehouses, right? Why? Because the other nation said you wasn't nothing and you believed it, right? Right? Got a, got a question? Come over and holler at us. Come talk to us. You ain't got to yell, right? You got, a, uh, you got an issue? Just come talk to us, right? Let's get some understanding together. We out here to talk to the people, right? We out here to show the children of Israel to repent or be destroyed. We out here to tell you heathen, y'all are about to be destroyed and going to captivity. That's right. But we got the Bible to, to, to bag it all up. We don't just come out here just to talk. We come out here to walk that walk, right? We're going to tell you, thus said the Lord, right? That's what we out here to do. How you doing, young king? You believe in the Bible? Yeah, I believe in the Bible. Have you ever heard that you was an Israelite? Have you ever heard that? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard that you was an Israelite? Yeah. What tribe would you be from, King? I'm Catholic. Okay, I, I, I was raised Baptist, apostolic, right? Yeah. A little bit of Seventh day Adventist. But that's it's just a religion. Yeah. Let me show you what God said about these religions in the book of First Maccabees 143. Let's see what God says about religion, all right? First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 43. Bring it out. Yeah, many also of the Israelites. Many also of the Israelites. Go ahead. Consented to his religion. They what? Consented to, to his religion. religion. Consented to man-made religions, brother. Go ahead. And sacrifice unto idols. When we dip on dabble in religion, we sacrifice unto idols. Why? Because if we serve another God, we're not serving the God who created heaven and earth. That's right. We are the children of Israel, brother. We got to serve the God of Israel. That's our God. Not none of these phony, fake gods which religion they came up with. You understand that, brother? I'm going to give you a flyer, King. It's a YouTube channel, WFI on the bottom of there. Written, you see it? Yeah. WFI Pittsburgh. Go on there and check it out, King. All right, okay. and yeah. come back home. Come back to your heritage, your royal gospel. All right, thing is we don't know. All right. I'm a Catholic too. What's that? I'm a Catholic too. Like okay. My parents made me into Catholic. Okay. Okay. Hey, y'all. Y'all came up with it. We try and do the best I like, could every day. We try oh. hard, pray. I'm like trying my best to get the help from the Bible. Okay. So. Okay. Hey, wait. Y'all admitted it, so y'all served it, right? All right, all right. Y'all have a good day, all right? All right. All praise to you, how about she, how about she, how about read that one time. Oh, matter of fact, give me the book of, um, what I want. Um, give me um, Hosea 4, verse 6. Right? Y'all, for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, let you know that you are God's chosen people. You are the real biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. The only thing, the problem with that is, our people don't know that. Go ahead and read that. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for 
What did God say? My, my people, people are destroyed. What did God say? My, my people, people are destroyed. destroyed. God say, my people are destroyed. Go ahead. For a lack of knowledge. For a lack of knowledge. God's people, you black Hispanic and Native Americans, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You don't know what God to serve. You don't know who to serve. So you, you dibble and dabble with all these different denominations, which is religions, and you get sifted to and fro in the earth. Why? Because you have not found the truth. Why? Because you're truly not seeking for the truth. God says, seek the truth and you shall find it, but all people are not seeking the truth and finding it. Right? right? The, the Lord said, blessed is he that read it. Huh. Get in the book of Revelation chapter 3 huh. and verse 1. Huh. Right? Yeah. Let's see what the Lord told you, black and never made. Let's see what the Lord told you, children of Israel. Go ahead and read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. And blessed is he that read it. I appreciate that, King. Huh. That correction. Blessed is he that readeth, man. That's what the Lord told us, man. But how many of our people read? How many of you black suspects and Native Americans read, man? Hey, we'll, we'll listen to YouTube. We'll watch YouTube videos. We'll listen to music. But to pick up a book, that's something. That's the last thing we'll do. Uh, that's the last thing our people will do is want to pick up a book and read it. Just sit down and get comfortable and read a book. But that's where your intelligence comes from. That's where your enlightenment comes from. A book, which is the Bible. Go ahead and read that one time for me, y'all. Revelation to the 1 verse 3. Read it out. Blessed is he that read it. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that do what? And they, they that, that hear, hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. And we out here to tell our people the time is at hand. Pick up this Bible and read it, man. Get the understanding there real. Right? And come home. Our people gotta come home. How you doing, young king? How you doing, brother? You believe in the Bible, bro? Can I just read one scripture to you? Yeah, right. Who wrote Hosea 4 verse 1? Hosea, Sophia. Hosea to the 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, you children. Say? Hear the word of the Lord. God say, hear the word of the Lord. Come out here week in and week out to tell our people, come hear the words of the Lord. Go ahead. Ye children of Israel. Who we talking to? Ye children, children of Israel. We're not talking to all nations. The Lord is not talking to all. He's only talking to the children of Israel. That's right. call them by name. Go ahead and read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. There is no truth, nor knowledge, nor mercy of God in the land. We have mercy. That's why we can repent. That's right. The Lord has been gracious with us. That's why he gave us time to repent. That's right. In the book of Joshua 24 and verse 14, you know? Not at 15, 24, 15, right? Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. If it seem evil unto you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans to serve the Lord. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. You got to choose this day who you going to serve. Go ahead. Under the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood. Or the gods of the Amorites in those flat land ye dwelt. But as for me... In my house, will we serve the Lord? That's we, right. In our, our house, we going to serve the Lord. That's right. That's why we out here lifting up the name of Yahweh by Hashem and Mashiach. That's right. Right? We going to serve the Lord. We know who to serve. You know the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22, Hebrew. We know who to serve, man. Right? And this was said to the northern kingdom when they was cast off. Let's see what it says. John, chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what we worship. Ye worship, ye know not what. This is what was said to the northern king that was cast out, man. Hey, come in the word, brother. You believe in God, right? You believe in the Bible, young king? Okay, all right. Well, you just know that you got you by yourself. And we got the Lord with us, bro. Right. right. But just understand that you by yourself, man. It is not fun being by yourself, man. At all. Hey, when our people get locked up, they be in the cell by themselves, man. That's not fun, right? Are y'all beautiful sisters? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? Yeah. All right. It's time to repent for the kingdom of heaven that's our hand. Uh -huh. That's why I had to tell our people the same with the disciples of old told our people that in Nineveh, before Nineveh got destroyed. That's uh -huh. the same thing our people told our people was to repent 
when our people was in Sodom and Gomorrah, before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Come. It was the same thing that was being preached all around the world before the Lord brought the flood upon the world, Come. right? And given that in the book of Matthew chapter 4, and verse 17, Hebrew, Come. right? Prophets of old doing the same thing that we doing right now. And we just we're in a different time now. And we were there back then, but we're here in a different time, still singing the same song. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But right now, we know that we're in the last age. Huh. We're on the last days. This is it. You only got one time now. You're not coming back in another life, right, and have a time to get it right. I mean, we're like, here, I ain't going to get it right this life. I'm going to just live it up this life, and then I come back every third and fourth generation, I get it back then. No, it ain't no more generations coming like that. The time to get it right is the time down. Go ahead and read that. Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, y'all shall begin to preach and to say, repent. What do you say? Repent. repent. What do you say? Repent. repent. For what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, our Lord came, right, in the time of the Roman Empire and was teaching our people to repent. And the Lord said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We here in these last generation telling our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? right? There ain't no other options, man. You're going to repent or you're not. And give me the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 3, Hebrew. Luke 13, verse 3. Right? Bring it out. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Bring it out. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. What's going to happen if they don't repent? Ye shall, shall all likewise perish. What's going to happen if they don't come home? Ye shall, shall all likewise perish. perish. You're going to all likewise perish if you do not repent. Right. Right? How you doing, young king? Good, Lord. Peace. All right, all praises. You got to repent. You got to come home. All right, brother. Right? It's time to come home, man. Right? Get your soul right. Get your spirit right while you have time. While you have the opportunity. Right? Don't wait till it's too late. Too many of our people waiting till it's too late. Our people want to be on their deathbed and call for the name of the Lord and think they're going to be saved. Uh -huh. No, when you repent, you got to have time to be able to put these things in action. Right? Put these laws, touch, and commandments in motion. You got to prove yourself. Uh -huh. Right? The Lord says study to show yourself approved. That's right. How you going to study on your, on, your last, on your last breath? Right? You're on the deathbed. How you doing, sister? All praise be high by some hell shout. We gotta repent out here. We wow. gotta call for our people to repent. All 12 tribes, you blacks, Hispanics, wow. and Native Americans, that's who you are. You are the children of Israel. If you don't know who you are, how can you get the kingdom of heaven? It's impossible. You must know who you are. Right? We wow. must know who we are. Our people don't know that we royal to just expect them to get the kingdom of heaven because as to say so. Right. And the pastor is wrong. Right? They give me that in the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, Hebrew. The pastors is wrong these days. Right? Matthew chapter 15 and verse 14. Yeah. Let them alone. They be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. See, the Lord said, leave these pastors alone, man. Because they are blind. And they lead in the blind. Meaning, our people go up in church to learn something, but they learn it from a blind man. And how can our people that's out here walking that can see learn anything from a brother with a walking stick? How can we learn anything from him? You think he could teach us about DG Express across the street? Arby's? Wow. Subway? You think he could show us where the bus stop is? You think he could point us in the right direction? No. Because he's blind. He actually need help. But right. the Lord said, the people that need help is being stared in the wrong direction. We would have more time for right. y'all. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind. Fuck it. Hey, come in the word, brother. You believe in God, bro? Brother, come in the word. Brother, you believe in God, bro? Go ahead, up. Leaders of the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Both. Show fall into the ditch. Hey, give me that in the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 13, man. Our people think it's a game. And the young ones walk past it. They thought it was a game. It's like people think it's a joke today. Like ain't nothing gonna happen. Go ahead and read. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Bring it out. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. And what did God say? Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Give me that in the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 26. 
right? Whoso despises God's words shall be destroyed. That's right. Read what you got. Second Acts chapter 15 and verse 26. Bring it up. For the Lord knows all them that sin against him. What the Bible say? For the Lord knows all them that sin against him. The Lord knows all they that sin against him. Go ahead and read. Woe unto them that sit and keep not my command. What did God say? Woe unto them that sin and keep not my command. Destruction is coming to those that sin. And don't keep God's commandments, man. Right. That's right. The Lord's TV. Hey, he's saying it multiple times, but he really only needs to say it once. You know, you got that stern father, that stern dad. When he say something one time, that's it. No second chances. Uh -huh. The Lord gives us second chances. He gives us repeated chances, right? To get it right. What do you say one more time from God? Second age of the 15 and verse 24. Yeah. Only to them that sin and keep not my commandments, said the Lord. I will not spare them. What did God say? I will, I will not, not spare, spare them. The Lord said he ain't going to spare them. He's not going to spare you because you're in the midst of sin and you have not found out the truth. Why? Because you heard the truth, you just rejected it. Right. Right? So it ain't going to be no mercy upon them. That's why he said, whoa, destruction to them that sin and keep not his father's commandments, man. The law of the commandments is everything upon the right. children of Israel, man. They're everything to us, man. That's why the nations took them from us, man. Right? They give me that in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 5. Jeremiah 17, verse Jeremiah 5. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. That said the Lord, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And God said, trust. He said, what cursed be the man who trusts in man? That's right. Hey, why? Because man going to mislead you. Right. Man is there, you wrong, uh -huh. but the Lord won't, right? That's why it's important for us to come home and get the true, correct understanding while we can. Read that one more time for me, y'all. Jeremiah to the 17, verse 5. That said the Lord, come to the man that trusted in man. Come in the words, sister. Come in the words, And make it flush his arm. Did what? And make it flesh his arms. And hey, God said, destruction to them that trust in man and make flesh their arms. Right? Because that's what all people do. We got trust in man like man can save us, man. No, the most high can save us, man. Our Lord was who's gonna save us, man. Right. The Lord is the only one. Hey, give me that in the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Right? Luke 1, verse 68. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. The Lord is the only one going to save us. That's why he said he has visited and redeemed his people. Go ahead. And raised up a horn of salvation for us. He raised up his son, which is a horn of salvation for us. For right. us, the true tribes of the house of Israel. Go ahead. In the house of his servant David. In the house of his servant David. We all know about David. You know what I'm saying? How he took down Goliath. Go ahead. And he speak by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we shall be saved from our enemies. Now what? That, that we, we shall, shall be saved, saved from, from our, our enemies. Now what? That, that we, we shall be saved, saved from our, our enemies. enemies. That we, we shall be saved from our enemies. Who is that we? The 12 tribes in the house of Israel. That's right. 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 That's why he said the kingdom of heaven got 12 gates. 12 names written there on. Right? Only oh. for the names of the 12 tribes in the house of Israel, man. That's why the Lord said he's coming back for the 144,000. 12,000 12, from each tribe. He makes it clear. He makes it too clear. But the thing is, our people have been sat in with destruction for so long, deception for so long, we will hear truth and won't believe it. Oh. Right? Hey, John. hey that's, that's what you call witchcraft right there. Oh. That's a high dose of nonsense. That's right. Right? Go to read up. And from all them, Slocker, that we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us, because we're still hated here in America. Give me that in the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 6, 17. Four, Lamentations 4, seven. verse 17. Right? Slocker. All praise to see you. How about you? How was shot, man? Y'all here. Limitation of the four and verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for a vain help. 
our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. Why? Because we're under the hands of our enemies. But go ahead and read. Our vain help and our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And in our watching, we're watching for the same nation that had us in captivity to save us. No, you're supposed to be waiting on your high about and y'all shot to save us, man. The Lord that's going to save us, man. That's why he said he's going to save us from the hand of our enemies and all that hate us. That's right. We got to understand that thing. We got to come back to the truth, man. Come back to reality. Hey, have a sip of a cup of coffee, man. That's what they tell our people. Have a cup of coffee, man. Wake up and smell the coffee, man. Right? Hey, the coffee's not brewing in our house. We don't drink it. 